Well, I think if you look back, which I've been fortunate enough to do over the last 20 years, I think the thing that's given us the, the greatest uh, pride is our beer reputation and our brewing and the sheer increase in, in the amount we've brewed and sold. And I think that has been just something that's been given us all huge pride from uh, virtually nothing. You know, in, back in 2000, we were selling 15,000 barrels. And this year, we'll produce over 157,000. And that's in a declining market. So we've been, our sales have been basically going against the market in a positive way um, all those years. And I think that is, you know, I look back, that has to be the, but, you know, we are a brewery, St. Austell Brewery, and uh, brewing is what we do, as well as pub ownership. Uh, it's the brewing that's given me the greatest satisfaction. Most recently was when we got um, the British Airways contract to put uh, tribute on all the long haul flights and the executive lounges. And I think that was a huge feather in our cap. I think we, you know, we went into the tender process thinking, well, this is the biggest airline in the world. Uh, we've got no chance of winning it, but we'll cut our teeth on it and then apply to some other airlines in the, at a later date and ended up winning it. And so it was a huge thrill and uh, something I was very proud to announce. We had to keep it secret for several months uh, and that was almost impossible to do because I just couldn't wait to tell everybody. So it was great, very great um, and very proud moment. I feel genuinely excited for the company. I think uh, uh, Kevin Georgell is a, a great catch for us. He's a hugely experienced and uh, uh, great guy. He's hugely respected in the industry. He's a real industry stalwart and uh, he could have done lots of things with his career, but uh, he has always wanted this job. He, he's loved St. Austell Brewery, even in all his guises before. He was a director of, uh, of Ad and the boss of Admiral Taverns. He used to be with Punch and all the time he's been a customer uh, of ours over the years and has always been a, a good friend. And more recently, a non-exec director of the company for the last four years. So if you like, this is something that was planned. Uh, you can never tell whether it actually comes to fruition, but, but it is. He was always our number one choice and uh, we're absolutely delighted to welcome him. And I think uh, I'm absolutely confident he'll take the company onto the next level. And, and that fills me with huge excitement. I won't miss the emails. Um, uh, I will miss the uh, uh, people hugely. Um, as you'll appreciate, it's a, a people industry through and through. Um, I've never been an academic. Um, I don't do paper if I can avoid it, uh, but I just love working with people and that's what I've thrived on over the years and uh, helped to build a fantastic team of people here who will go on to great things. But from also from a, a retirement point of view, what are you going to do? I'm going to play you some golf, uh, and dust off my clubs, and do a bit of sailing. I uh, always enjoy a bit of sailing and uh, yeah, lots of dog walking fresh air, and uh, I'll see how life takes me after a short break.